Welcome back to Soccer Racing. This has been three weeks in the making. The Soccer guys challenged White Knuckle Sim Racing to a two race event comprising of two 20 minute races. The home tracks were revealed on the day. We then had a five minute practice to adapt our setups for each of the different tracks. A one lap flyer made the qualifying extremely interesting. There was lots of nerves leading up to this event with the uncertainty of the different tracks as nobody really knew what would happen. I would like to personally thank Barra and his guys from White Knuckle Sim Racing for taking us up on this challenge, as well as my guys from Sarko, Jakes, Vince, Bruno, Ross and Andrew. Sit back and enjoy the highlights of this two race event. Dylan from Sarko landed up winning the toss and asked Barra to please reveal the track and the track they had chosen was the Circuit Bugatti Le Mans track for race number one. Let's have a look at the lineup. So kicking off the grid in 12th place in car number 8, we have Andrew from Sarko. Vince is 11th in car number 45, also representing Sarko. Looking at row number 5, car number 46 is pointy. He puts himself in 10th with Mojo in car number 6. He's up into 9th position. Row number 4, 8th position goes to Dylan in car number 9. Alongside him is Jake's in 7th place and Jakes is in car number 58. Row number 3 in 6th place is Ross in car number 11 representing Sarko. Alongside him is Morris in 5th place, car number 78 representing White Knuckle Racing. Row number 2 is filled with two WKR drivers. Jimbo is in 4th place driving car number 7 and Saba in car number 84, he's in 3rd. Row number one is a split affair with Bruno second on the grid in car number 59. Bear is in first, driving in car number 63. It's race time as we wait for the red lights to go green and off they go. Both Bear and Bruno have got a great start as they head down the main straight, preparing for a Dunlop curve. Bear seems to have a much better gear ratio as he starts pulling away from Bruno, moving across into first place as they go through the Dunlop chicanes. Hard on the brakes, Bruno's taken a, a much wider line there. Everyone seems to be safely through here as they exit out of Dunlop Chicane and they start approaching the chapel descent. Oh my goodness, that looks like pointy. He's gone into the wall. We'll have to go back there and have a, a look what happened. Would we see Barry? He's run wide. That's given Bruno the opportunity to move up into first place. Barry's off the track and stopped in the middle of the track. Oh, that's Dylan. He's clipped him. And sent Dylan straight into his teammate, sending them both off. Oh, that was a terrible, a terrible accident. Quick look at the replay. Here's Pointy rubbing up against his teammate, Marius, in car number 78. That unfortunately unstables the car for Pointy, and he's headed straight to that wall. So back to the front of the action. We chase with Bruno from Sarko. He's in first place. Quick recap of what's happening in the positions. So early on this race, Bruno's in first. Subba's in second. Jax is in third. Jimbo 4th, Ross is in 5th, Vince 6th, Mario 7, Mojo 8th, Andrews 9th, Dylan 10th, Point 11 and Barra is in 12th. Starting lap number 2, we chase Marius from White Knuckle Racing. Bruno still in 1st, Subba's in 2nd, Jakes is in 3rd. Jimbo's in 4th, followed by Ross and Vince and then Marius. Well, Jimbo's locked up that front wheel, he's moved to the inside, Vince has run wide. This has allowed Morris to move up an extra position or a little contact there as they go through the Dunlop chicane. I don't think they would have had any damage on any of the drivers. But off they go down to the chapel descent. Down through chapel, everything's still very tidy. Ross trying to make a move on the inside there of Jimbo as they head to the next corner museum. Some of Dylan's injured parts are on the inside level. That was a great move there by Ross. He found the opportunity. He moves to the inside. Will Jimbo hold fast there? Two green gate watch they go. Jimbo tightens that lineup. Unfortunately shutting that door for Ross. But there might be another opportunity for Ross as Jimbo runs slightly wide. Not enough space there for Ross. So Jimbo will hold that position at this moment. We're on lap number three and Bruno still leads Saba as they head down the chapel descent. Saba had a little look on the inside there, but Bruno had definitely covered that line and he's around safely. 
these two up front have started opening a gap two seconds ahead of Jake who's in third time has a look on the inside but Bruno sees him coming looks like Bruno's gonna have to go a little bit more defensive here sub is really not making it easy for Bruno up in the first place we're on lap number three into the green garage they go Bruno still holding that lead catch up the action further down the field we're coming to begin lap number four we see Jakes is currently in second place there's Jimbo car number seven Ross in car number 110 through the Dunlop curve they go preparing for the Dunlop chicane these guys have only been separated by one second for these three places Jakes is locked up he's made a complete hash of that braking zone he's lost control and allowed both Jimbo and Ross to move up a position Jakes gets the car around there's Morris gone past Vincent's gone past that's four positions Mojo's just gone past that's five positions in a matter of one corner Jakes must be absolutely kicking himself Sub has got a great run coming out of Chapel putting pressure on Bruno as they head up to the museum he has a look on the inside but Bruno sees him coming shuts that door Sub will have to find another way to get around Bruno but he's been applying that pressure Bruno's not looking comfortable anymore and another look on the inside as they go through Green Garage pretty safe there Sub has got a great much better line coming out of there I think it might set him up as they go through the booth dragging that slipstream getting closer and closer every meter late on the brakes Sub it takes a much wider line it looks like he's run himself wide that will definitely alleviate the pressure that Bruno was experiencing into turn 9 south of the blue garage it goes no Bruno has lost it that's allowed Sub to go through Jimbo might pick up a place there as well Bruno is very fortunate manages to hold that position only losing one spot for that incident this race is really really getting exciting now breaking into museum Jim has a look on the inside but Bruno shuts the door Bruno puts the pound a little bit too early he has a bit of oversteer Sabo runs wide extremely difficult out there these three are really tussling it out and uh, all it's doing is just making Ross in the back he's catching up little look on the inside again by Jimbo Sabo touches a brake turning that nose in to get out of Green Garage and off they head down towards Berth lap number six as the first second third and fourth they head through the booth to South Garage Jim has had a great run on Bruno will he have a look on the inside he does but Bruno unfortunately has got that faster outside line has to back away so Sub has gone a bit slower there Bruno had to brake check himself through the last couple of corners everyone's clear that's Sub Bruno Jimbo and then Ross followed closely by Vince in fifth position here we chase Vince as he's chasing Morris from White Knuckle Racing on the brakes Morris he's lost the rear that sent him off and allowed Vincent to move up in position and that allows both Mojo and Jakes having a look on the outside of Mojo but that's definitely not going to work there Jakes had to slack off there and allow Mojo to go through but that means Morris he's lost three places in that corner having a look at Mojo he's currently in sixth place followed by Jakes in seventh the guys from White Knuckle Racing definitely with this being their home advantage they've definitely got the much better gear racers Jakes runs extremely wide there just alleviating their pressure from Mojo and Mojo will live to fight another day back to the leaders Saba first Bruno Jimbo Ross and Vince Bruno has gone and he spun the rear round that's allowed Jimbo to go through Ross has gone through Vince now joins as he comes to will he get the position no he does not that means Bruno he has lost two positions in that corner the positions are Saba, Jimbo, Ross, Bruno, Vincent, Mojo, Jakes is still fighting there Marius, Andrew well it looks like Bruno he got the power on lost the rear will Vince get him on the outside as they go to Dunlop curve no it looks like Vince slacks off there allows Bruno to take that position this is what team racing is all about Andrew's in ninth place Dylan's in 10th pointy's 11th 
No, that's Ross. He's he's gone off. He's dropped down the field. He's now down to seventh place. But Dunlop Corp going into the Dunlop chicane has really cost a lot of the guys' positions today. And this is the advantage about having a home track. You're able to get those little tweaks out. We're on lap number eight and we watch Jakes. He's making a move here on Mojo. Got a great run out of the last corner through Dunlop Curb. Yes, he's definitely made the position stick there as they go through the Dunlop chicane. Oh, we see Vince, he's run himself wide. He joins the track. Jakes loses the rear late on those brakes. Will he hold that position ahead of Mojo? Yes, he has. My goodness, that could have been disaster for both these drivers. This third driver who's now gone off at that corner. What will the last couple of laps hold? Here we see Saba coming through the last corners, followed by his teammate from White Knuckle Racing, Jimbo. They'll make it a White Knuckle Racing 1-2. Bruno, Jakes and Vince will come through in 3rd, 4th and 5th for Sarko. Mojo will come through in 6th, Morris in 7th, Andrew in 8th, Ross in 9th, Dylan 10th, Barry 11th and Pointy in 12th. Race number 2 and we go to Portugal, Ortodoma International do Algarve. The points are currently 39 points apiece. The white knuckle racing guys, they do not know that this is the track that we have selected. We still have a one lap flying qualifying. Let's see how this one ends. Having a look at the starting positions on race number two, it's an all Sarko front row with Jake's in pole position. Bruno's in second. Before Barra's lap, there were five Sarko drivers on the grid. Barra splits that pack. He puts himself third. Ross is in fourth. Dylan's in fifth. Vince is in sixth. Mojo moves to seventh. Andrew qualifies eighth. Pointy's 9th, Marius 10th, Saba, our winner from the last race, is in 11th position, and Jimbo, who has finished 2nd, he's in 12th. Three red lights, green lights, and off they go. Jakes has had a little bit of a lag issue there, but Bruno's away cleanly. Barra has moved over to the, the outside, followed very closely by Dylan. Ross and Vince, they move to the inside. We chase Pointy as he comes through turn number one. We already seems to be through smoothly. Great move there by Mojo as he slips past Pointy. On the, hard on the brakes in the chicane. Oh, that's Saba going to the back of Pointy. That is very unfortunate. They all seem to be clear as they come through turn number four. Great shot to single file as they head down to the down the hill. Hard in that braking zone. Drivers weaving to the left, weaving to the right, hard on the brakes there. Dylan has a look on the inside. That's Andrew and Dylan. they putting pressure on Barra. Point is on the inside now of Mojo as he heads up the hill. Will Mojo have a little look? Yes, he does. Contact by the two drivers, sending Pointy extremely wide. Mojo's hard on the brakes, and that's Morris. He's now moved up a place. That's Pointy and Morris. They've touched once again. Oh my goodness, that's Morris and Pointy into the wall. That is not how you wanted to start this race. Barra having a little look on the inside through Andrew and an easy overtake for him as they go through turn number 12. Up to Sagres they go. Andrew late on the brakes there. Will he be able to get a run down there as they come around this gulp? By side as we see Andrew and Barra heading into Primera. Barrett slacks off there, allowing Andrew to take that place. Mojo comes up and he unfortunately clips Barrett as they go into turn number two. Into turn number three, they go. Dylan's late on the brakes. He's pushed his partner wide. That's unfortunately thrown Andrew off and that's cost him a spin. Here we chase the action as we see Mojo. He's in fifth place, followed by Dylan in sixth. Barra's in 7th as they go into Torre Vip. Tight line there by Dylan as he goes around that corner to get a good exit. It looks like Mo Mojo was slightly slow out of that corner as they go into turn 6. Well, some sideways action there for Dylan as he goes into 7. Up the hill into Samsung corner. Barra, he's run himself a little bit wide. Whoa, big step out there for him. Down the hill they go, 
into Craig James. Very tricky corner here in Portimao. Everyone seems to be through safely. Different line by Dylan. He's put the power on. He's managed to get ahead of Mojo, but unfortunately Dylan had not taken the inside line. So he had to concede that position. Oh, hard on the brakes. That wheel is car is squirreling all over the place. Back on the power as they head up the hill again. Around the corner to Suglish. Dylan is hard on the power again. Looks like he might have got the run on Mojo as they head down the corner to go into Gulp. Over the crest they come. Mojo, Dylan, Barra. Oh no, there's been contact. The three drivers have contacted each other. And that's a loud sub. He's moved up those three places. We'll have to go back and see what happened there. Coming down Gulp. We see Dylan's got a much tighter line here to Mojo. What's happened is Mojo's rear has started stepping out. He's obviously come off the power. Dylan saw it way too late. And that just put himself straight into Mojo. And Barrett collected him as he came through the corner. And Mojo got a little tap off right in the end. Back to the front of the pack we go. Bruno is currently in first place on lap number three. Jakes is in second, Vince is in third, followed by Ross in fourth. That is a Sarko 1, 2, 3 and 4. Saba is in fifth, followed closely by Jimbo in sixth. The two of them moving themselves up after being quite low down on the grid. Andrew's up to seventh, avoiding that incident between Mojo, Dylan and Barra. Pointy and Marius, they in 11th and 12th respectively after their contact on lap number one. Aerial shot of Dylan as he heads on into Torovip. He's chasing Mojo who is currently in 8th position. Great line there for Dylan as he gets a great drive. You can see that Mojo, he's run himself a little bit wide. Allowing Dylan to get a lot more drive coming out of that corner. Through 6 he goes. Dylan will set himself up for turn number 7. Yes, he has the faster line. Mojo had to let that position go. And Dylan holds it coming out of the Samsung corner. At the end of lap number four. Whoa, big slide there by Dylan. Mojo starting to put some pressure back on the eighth place driver. As they come out of Sagrej, they set themselves up to go through Gulp. Over the rise they go. Oh, you can see Mojo had to correct it, that slide as he came out of that corner. And that will allow Dylan to get away. And unfortunately, Mojo would have missed that opportunity to get that pass coming into the Premiere. Back to the front of the grid here. We watch Jakes. We see he's in first position. He's made a pass from Bruno. Vince is still very much in the, the fight here. Let's have a look at what the positions are like currently on lap number five. Jakes is in first. Bruno is in second. Vince is third. Ross is fourth. Saba is fifth. Jimbo is sixth. Andrew is seventh. Dylan still in 8th, fighting Mojo in 9th, Barrows in 10th and Pointy and Marius in 11 and 12. We, are, we go on board with Vince as they come out of Gulp. You can see that little ridge as you're going over. It feels like the front wheels lose that grip. But you just got to trust that there will be the grip once you go down that hill. Single foul as they cross the start finish line to begin lap number 6. Hard on the brakes in Primera. Oh, Vince, very late on the brakes there. Unfortunately, he moved out of the way. He didn't make contact with Bruno. So they can carry on this amazing battle here up front. Through Lagos, the three of them go very similar lines there. Tight up into turn number four. Looks like Bruno ran a little bit wide there. That unstabilized the car when he came back over those rumble strips. Hard on the brakes now for Toro Vip. Three completely different lines. Looks like Bruno might get the pass here on Jakes. No, he doesn't. Jakes manages to get the power on before Bruno. Just shutting off that line. Bruno possibly had to come off the power there. So that there wasn't contact between the drivers. In through seven and up through Samsung. Vince was big moment there. You can see the rear slapping out. That's Bruno. He's unfortunately lost the rear. I'm not sure if there was contact between Bruno and Jakes. But Bruno's put the power on and that spun himself around. We pick up the action on lap number eight. 
We're watching Dylan. He's chasing down his partner, Andrew, in Sarko. As they exit out of turn number two, setting themselves up in Lagos. Oh, a big lock up there by Andrew. Dylan looks like he got a much better line coming out of that corner, setting himself up for four. Andrew took the much tighter line there. Whoa, big moment there by Andrew. Is that he got that rear very loose coming out of that corner as they set up for Torre Vip. Andrew's gone very defensive on the inside there. Dylan's had to go a lot wider. Power back on. Dylan will look for the inside line here, but Andrew unfortunately shuts the door on him. Does not allow him to get that pass. Through turn number seven. Oh, big bites of the curb there by Dylan, making that car a bit unstable. Slides that rear around, try to get the power on early. Try and get that position back from his partner down the little dip towards Craig James. We catch up with Barrow who crosses line to begin his ninth lap. He's been in two incidents, one in the first race, one in the second race. A very unfortunate day for Barrow. But just a shout out, thanks very much for bringing your white knuckle racing guys to come race against us. It really has been a treat having you guys on track. A little shot of pointy, he too hasn't had a very good event. Here we see Vince in, currently in second place. We see up ahead there, Jakes will cross the line. He'll come home in first. Vince will finish second. Bruno will finish third. Ross fourth. That's a one, two, three, four for Sarko. Jimbo will be the first of the white knuckle racing guys, followed by Saba in sixth. Andrew comes home in seventh. Dillant in eighth. Mojo in ninth. Barra in tenth. Points eleventh. And Marius in twelfth. So thank you very much for watching. That concludes the event. Sarko will win the challenge at 92 points to 64. We do look forward to the next event on the 6th of May. Where White Knuckle Racing, they will select the car. We will once again each choose our own track and battle out head to head. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, yo's.